Good evening, everyone. My name is Rudy Page, and welcome to Homeward Bound Creativity Show. I would first like, before we get proceedings going, to introduce Dean Roden. Good evening, Dean. Over to you. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks for having me. As we're about to start, I'd like everyone, those who can open their mic, you can open your mic, and those who can just sit still, as we have Ron J, he's gonna lead us off with the singing of the national anthem. Yeah, that's it. Ron J. Not on Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much. Then we're gonna have Damien, who's gonna lead us off with the National Pledge. Damien, over to you. Good afternoon. Let us all sit at attention for the National Pledge. The National Pledge. Before God and all mankind, I pledge the love and loyalty of my heart the wisdom and courage of my mind, the strength and vigor of my body in the service of my fellow citizens. I promise to stand up for justice, brotherhood, and peace, to work diligently and creatively, to think generously and honestly so that Jamaica may under God increase in beauty, fellowship, and prosperity, and play our part in advancing the welfare of the whole human race. Thank you very much. Let's give them a big round of applause, man. I want you guys to give them a big round of applause. You know, it's very real. We have our strength in our national pledge. And that's what the program is all about, you know, engaging with our young people and reaching out to them. You know, normally we would play it, but today, because it's such a special afternoon, we just want to show what we're doing with our young people. You know, we are empowering our young people. Thank all the people who are here present. And just to give you a snap, 
highlight of what this program, Let's Talk and Empowering Youth is all about. You know, it's my name is Dean Roden, and I was educated at August Basic School from an early age at the Augustown Basic School. And I went to Augustown Primary School, and I went to Pepin School, where I live, and I live in, growing up in Hermitage at an early age, I was there, and then I worked in the community as a community servant. I worked in the Augustown Urban Community. And then I got a scholarship to go to the University of the West Indies. We are in four months in the principle and practice of social work, where I work, you know, my educational part. But growing up, I also grew up on the corner. That was my social encountering, where I learned to play the gig, the marble, and that's where the the, the social part of my development. As a scout leader also, I represent Jamaica as a scout ambassador for over 30 years. I came to the United States and I got a scholarship from the governor here and I did my associate degree in social service. And after 30 years, I got a second scholarship from the city of Hartford where I do my psychology and I did behavior psychology and I have a bachelor in my behavior psychology. And I strongly believe in working with our young people. I'm now a part of the Jamaica Northeast diaspora, you know, where we are working to be with the Intervention and Crime Prevention Task Force also in Jamaica. We are global scene. I'm a part of the Crime <clears throat> Task Force Intervention diaspora. So once again, I want to thank you for having me this evening, Rudy. Thank you very much, Dean. And um, so thank you everyone for joining us. So this, as mentioned earlier on, is a Homeward Bound Creativity Show. Creativity is about unleashing the potential of the mind to conceive new ideas. Innovation is about introducing change into existing systems and developing competencies and skills to make new ideas viable. The 21st century skills of collaboration, creativity, communication, and critical thinking are reshaping the way all individuals work and play and learn. Cooperation and collaboration and building trust is the foundation of our way out of our current challenges. So you will hear this line many times and many of you will have heard this before and it's the three principles as relating to youth development and productivity. Young people need somewhere to go, young people need something to do young people need some someone to show them how and some of these attributes you will be learning from dr lola ramakan so before we go to um dr lola i would like to introduce i would like topaz tyson to come on line and introduce Dr. Lola Ramakan, our guest speaker for the evening. Thank you, Topaz. Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Topaz Tyson. I am 16 years old. I attend Manning School. I am a NEET Negro Education Environment Trust volunteer and ambassador. I am honored to being granted the privilege of introducing our special guest, Dr. Lola Ramakan. Dr. Ramakan is the Senior Director of Stationery and School Supplies Limited and leads on all matters in the education arena, both locally and internationally. She does training of staff and educators on product knowledge to their education products, such as books and manipulates. She has over 40 years as an educator 
being a classroom teacher for 18 years, senior education officer, a curriculum specialist in the core curriculum unit of the MOEI for eight years, an innovative and successful project manager at the Hard Trust NTA, a quality education and early childhood education specialist at UNICEF UN, and an international education consultant spanning over 15 years. She's an author and started the Writers Circle in Jamaica to encourage writing of local material. Recently, she has revised and launched the third edition of the Community Helpers, an activity and coloring book for younger children, and a new publication titled My Health and Wellness Package, 10 Good Habits for My Health. Dr. Ramekin is an accomplished leader with an extensive background in partnerships for education reform and transformation, as well as stakeholder management. She is the wife of the Jamaica High Commissioner in the UK, His Excellency Seth George Ramakan, TD, and is best with four wonderful children, now adults and accomplished in their various fields. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I would like you to help me welcome Dr. Lula Ramakan. Thank you. Thank you very much for that, Sopaz. Um, yes, you're done. Yeah, I'm not seeing being who has stopped it. Should I go ahead now? Please, please go ahead. Okay. Thank you very much, um, Miss um, Topaz. Of recent, I have had only children introducing me, which is a big change, and I love it. At the launch of my book, I had two lovely girls coming together to introduce me, and they did wonderful research, just like Topher's. I am thrilled, and I am sure one day I'll get to meet you face to face. Mr. Page, and he has a new descriptor. Mr. Page, I refer to as an innovator. We supposed to have two hosts, Aunt Natasha and Uncle, Uncle Dean. I hope they are on board so that we can even get to know them better. Diaspora representative, educators, my daughter, Bonita, who is on, she is an organization development consultant. And my other daughter is at my left here. She is a communication major. She's helping me out just in case there's any problem. Mr. Tyson, it was such a pleasure listening to you, parents, boys and girls. It is a joy to be with you all to share in this Youth Empowerment Forum. For 2021, I have published two publications wow. to build a kinder and healthier community. Today, I will share with you on the book that is slated for zero to eight years, and I must say beyond. And I started from zero because this is backed by research that the child begins to learn from the womb. And therefore the book that I have written, um, the pregnant um, mother can read the book and the child starts to benefit right away. And as I said, it is called the Community Helpers. It is a reader. It is an activity and coloring book. The entry to the book can be multifaceted. You can enter by reading, reading to a child, the child reading to you. You can also enter by the activities, just start doing the activities that are there, or you can enter 
by coloring for a very young child. Or you can just flip the painting and see what jumps out at you. And I can tell you that persons have been saying to me, so many things jump out at, at them. For example, a mother told me that for the first time, she was able to sit with her three children, her husband, and they curled up in the sofa, singing the Jamaica National Anthem. They knew it was on um, YouTube. They knew that they could find it other way, but just having the book and the three children just curling around her and her husband, it was such a pleasure to, to sing the National Anthem. And you know what happened? After singing the National Anthem, they went on to sing the National Song for School. Then they went on to repeat the pledge, just like what was done today. They could hardly put down the book because there were so many things that could engage them. And I hope you will have that experience when you get hold of the, the book. The book is for relationship building and relationship building across the diaspora with siblings and with friends and with even parents who are living away at a distance from their family. This is a book that a father who is distant or overseas or a mother or grandmother or any member of the family can pick it up, you get on WhatsApp and you can read with or to or share with the child as it were parenting from a distance. And you will get that feel when you, when you get the book. So let us look at the slide. And the first slides we have there is building, could you go back, building a kinder and I would say healthier community because I never always like to start off as nothing existed. People are kind in the community, but from what we are seeing, they need to be kinder. People try to be healthy, but for what we're seeing, they can be healthier. So. We are building a kinder and healthier community. And if the, if the person moving this slide could go down a little more, you will see the, the health and wellness book, but I will not be, that is the health and wellness book. And I must say the community helper is designed to instill respect in our children, for those who serve in our community, and also to learn the tools that they use as community helpers. And my health and wellness package builds awareness of good health and wellness practices. But as I said, we will concentrate on the community helpers for now. So let us go to the next slide. Okay, uh, yeah. oh, it is on now. So could I go back one for the next slide, just the cover. That is what the community helpers book looks like. You see it have a reader, activity and coloring book. And this is what I was saying that the child can begin any section of the book depending on the age of the child. But it is said that you cannot judge a book by the cover, but you know that this book can be judged by the, just the cover, by just looking on the book. The topic of the book is community helpers. And right away, you see community helpers. Um, students, are you seeing the community helpers? Can I get yes, that? Miss. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, yes, okay. I'm just, wait. I'm just waking you up. You can see the community helpers. Let's name them from the left. 
who are the community helpers starting from the left? Um, that may be your right. First, we have, who is that person with the bag? Yes, Tiffany. Mr. Postman. postman. That's the postman. And of course, they look like children because it's a children's book. And of course, a, ch a child is zero to 16 years in Jamaica <laughs> or 18 years, right? Who is the next community helper? Abigail. The fireman. The fireman. And the next one? It's a nurse. It's a nurse. And um, the next one? is a police officer. A police, police officer. officer. And the next one to the police officer? Pastor. Is a pastor. And who is the next one to the pastor? A teacher. A teacher. And of course, the court is going to give away the other one. Who is a nurse. Huh? Nurse. No, we got the nurse already. A doctor. Miss a doctor. It's a medical doctor. And I must tell you that I intentionally put this person to a medical doctor. Who is the medical doctor, male or female? Female. It is a female. female. And I did it intentionally because I visited a school and I had to speak with some six-year-olds, boys and girls. And I said, it was during Carrier's Week. And I said, all those who would like to become a medical doctor, will you please stand? And a few boys stand. It was an inner city school, but not the, uh, um, a few boys stood. And no girl stood at all. So I went close, I went close to one of the girls and I said, why didn't you start? Would you like to be a doctor? And she said, but girls can't become doctors. And I said, look at that stereotyping. I said, my dear, you can be anything that you want to be. And that's what I would like to present to the children who are on this call. You can be anything that you want to be, whether you're a male or a female. And when I ask the question about nurses, the boys did not stand at all. Did you know that boys can become nurses? Where I am speaking from you from in the UK. So if you go to the hospital, you see so many male nurses. I have a nephew over here and he is a critical care nurse. And I'm so happy in Jamaica, there are male nurses. Have you ever seen a male nurse? No. Miss not a frequent a female one. Yes, Tiffany, Miss not as frequent as you would see a female nurse, Miss. Exactly, because there is this stereotyping that women should be nurses because they're supposed to be caring and kind-hearted. But don't men need to be caring and kind-hearted too? Yes, miss. Yes. yes. So, so we need to have a conversation about that. You know, that um, you can be anything that you want to be, whether you are a male or a female. And this is what the, the cover of the book, brings you into that discussion as it were. And, and here I also would like to point out that, um, that you have different types of profession. You have different types of careers. So the, the seven that I have on the cover of the book are just examples. There are so many other careers and profession that you could that that you could research and you could discuss together as it were especially now we have what is called stem science 
technology, engineering, and math. And in some cases, you have STEAM, which is E is English, as it were. And therefore, you can research all the different careers that have to do with that. And therefore, children can be preparing themselves from, for different types of career. And I am here to say that our children can be anything good any career that you research and you think you would like to pursue, you can do it. And I inject the word good because I want you to reason with me. What could cause a boy of six years old when asked what he wanted to be when he grows up, said he wanted to be a gunman. No, right. He said, I would like to be a gunman. Is a gunman a profession? Abigail. No, no, no. 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 Okay, no. a gunman is certainly not a profession. And that is why I said it is not and put an X there. And then when the, when the person asks this little six-year-old, I don't know if you saw it in the papers in Jamaica, why? Because it's always good to ask the question, you want to be this, why do you want to be it? Can you guess what he said? Christine? Well, it was in the yes, paper. Yes, that he wants to be famous. Oh no, <laughs> that, that's like something that he would have said, but what he said, because he want to kill policemen. Can you imagine? Mm -hmm. So you see that children need to ask this hard, relevant question from very early. This is what a six year old little boy in a community in Jamaica said. So I would like to say that teachers should work with their students at different age levels because the young ones can collect photographs. The older ones can fill out uh, uh, the blanks like this. It says here, when I grow up, I would like to be a and you fill in that. And then you say, because, so you put the reason. And you would give your teacher this. You can write your name at the back. And the teacher can have all of these collected and make a collage. And therefore, you could put your photograph there if you want, or just put the picture of whatever. And we have some children on this platform, and I would like you to answer that question. I'm going to start with Christine. And is that, um, Christine, uh, when, I, when you grow up, what would you like to be? It's so fast, Christine is my mom. When I grow up, I would like to be a fashion designer and a model because I love fashion and I enjoy creating my own design. Very good. She is quite clear. And you know, um, Topaz might change as she goes further up and nothing is wrong with that. But you, you know, because Topaz has planted this seed. Her mother is right beside her, hearing what she would like to be. Her mother has a role to, to uh, mentor her in fulfilling this dream. And one way to do it is to have Topaz dress um, like a designer, maybe a fashionable dress. <laughs> and she could also design it herself with the help of her mother or a friend. And she could model it and have a photograph taken of it, as it were. 
and it might not be perfect, but she can improve on it as the days goes by. Um, who are the other children on the call? Damien. Damien, you are there? Yes, miss. Damien, what would you like to be when you grow up? A surgeon. A surgeon. Very good, as it were. This is another profession. Can you tell us why, Damien? I like helping people. Very good. Let us give him a hand. He likes helping people and therefore he could fill this out. And just like Topaz, he might want to get a surgeon. Is it a dental surgeon, medical surgeon, whatever. She, he can put it there and then he can write his name on the back and the teacher can collect them. He might want to do two and put one on the back of his, his room door or the wall one of the walls in the house. Let me quickly hear from the others. Just, just um, say to, to me what you would like to be and what. Dominique. Dominique. Where's Dominique? Yes, miss. What would you like to be when you grew up? I'm a surgeon, medical. Okay, your friends? Brothers. Your friends are brothers. Brothers. Very good. So you see how collaboration can help. Your brothers, and then after a time you could be studying together, and then you would be able to visit the hospital. Probably it could be planned. And you could even dress like a, a surgeon, medical surgeon, dent, whatever surgeon. You could visit or the teacher could invite the, the surgeon in to speak with not just Dominique and Damien, but with a whole class, maybe those who never thought they would be, will, will decide to be. Anybody else we have on that we haven't asked? Miss, I would like to be a veterinarian. Yes, Miss. Tiffany, what would you like to be? Miss, I would like to be a veterinarian. A veterinarian. Good. I, I probably have some cows around or some animals around and pets around. And if you don't, your parents might want to start getting some or you visit families. That, that have these animals and you could start getting your acquaintance as it were. Um, why would you want to be that, Tiffany? It's because I like pets and I would love to help them. And I think that is so good because when I was growing up, I used to see them ill treat the cat and even the dog in the community. And with that type of thinking, I'm sure they will be better protected. They will be looked after. So I would invite your parents, your siblings, your teachers, whoever, to help you to fulfill this dream. I wouldn't mind following you in a tracer study and to see how well you fear out in this way. Is there any other? Tisandra, yes. Tisandra Brown, and then Rondre Samuels. Okay, Tisandra, what would you like to be when? Miss, I would like to be a doctor or a nurse. Oh, you would like to be a medical doctor or a nurse. Well, you know, you can start in one and end up in the other. You have some nurses who have become medical doctors as well but either of them. And I like how you double up because if you are not one, you're going to be the other. And I was like that, you know, um, uh, when I was growing up, I always say I wanted to be a nurse or a teacher. <laughs> so I know I wasn't going to change totally from these. 
Anybody else I'm leaving out? Yeah, Rondre Samuels. What would you like to be? What what she wants to be? Did you hear? I did not. Yes. Yes, Mr. Andrew. Mm -hmm. Come closer to the mic while you speak. I can hear you, Ranji. We're not hearing it, please. Uh, the, Hello? Line's, uh, the line's dropped now. Anybody hear, heard what she said? Uh, no, Mr. Miss. No, Miss. Right. Are, are there any more? No, Miss. Anybody else who would like to? Is there tell anybody us what they else? Want to do? Any other child? Okay, so Kadian. those Kadian, Kadian, Kadian. Kadian. yes, well, good evening. My name is Kadian Anderson. I want to be a part of the child services and also want to be a police officer because I can save people and children's lives and make sure, make sure children and adults are okay. Excellent. Excellent. And I tell you, if ever a time we need person in the children's services is now. So that is a very good, you all have chosen your field. And I hope we're taking note of this because Mr. Page, one of these days we're going to run a tracer study to see how these children fear. And as I said, there's no problem if they want to change because they should be able to change. But you know what? The seed is so now. They either will do something equal to or better, but they will not be on the corners. I can assure you that none of these children here will be on the corner. And if we do that for all our children, they certainly will not be on the corner doing wrong things. If they're on the corner, they are there to help, to help others. And I just want to share, um, share this um, with, um, with the, the children. If you do not stand for something, you will fall for anything. So what you have done this afternoon is to stand for something. And I know not a simple person can ever confront you to change it. You're not going to fall for anything. It has to be something good as it were. And as Mr. Mr. Um, Mr. Um, Rudy said, young people need to be shown how or wrong things and pathways will result. So once you have decided on what you like to be, that is where we come in as adults to make sure to show you how you can be. Just like I said, the parents could dress you up in, in whatever you want to be. You could visit somebody who has a career, so many things you, you, can, you can do. Now, let us look at the rest of the book. Young people like things to do. What do we have in the book for them to do? And doing is very important. It is said that, um, and it is a famous saying that, I hear and I forget. I see and I remember. But what happened? Dominique, can you read the last thing there? What happened? I do, I do and I understand. Right. When you do things, you understand because you are manipulating, you are touching, you are doing something. And in this book, you will find out that you are doing so many things because young people like things to do. So at this time, we are going to flip through the book. 
one of these days you will have a physical book in your hand, but we have what is called a flip format of the book. And I also would like one day that this flip format can be available to, to at least parents so that they can help the children using the book as it were. And um, here is the cover of the book that we have spoken about. Can we move on to the next page of the book? The pa next page have to do with acknowledgement. And children, educators, you may be familiar with some of these first because this book, this book came out of the experience of so many people. Ministry of Education, early childhood officials. We have, um, we also have Mrs. Olive Forrester, some of you might know her. We have even from the UK here, we have Dr. Richards, we have Professor Ying, and a number of consultation with other persons in the diaspora. And the book comes with an introduction. Can I have one of the children read this introduction? Could you bring back the introduction? Thank you. Can I have one of the children, Tisandra, can you read the introduction? Yes, please. Okay, there are, there are special people. There are special people who help us in our community. We call them community helpers. We are going to learn the names of some of them, the tools they use, and also where they work. We should show respect for our community helpers and help them to give good service. We must say thank you and please to them. We love our community helpers. Thank you so much. How old are you, Tisandra? Miss, I am 10 years old. You are 10 years old and you read very well, so you might want to read this introduction even to a younger person or somebody your age who is not able to read. But the introduction is very, very important. The book it is having direct focus on respect for our community helpers. And if we show them respect, then they will give good service to us. Do you know that some persons do not even know the names of some of these persons in their, in their community? Because they don't think it is important. But if you speak to them, you can learn so many things. And this book gives special focus on talking to community helpers. When you talk to them, you hear about the work they do and the service that you give. We also must say thank you and please to them. Thank you and please are going through the window. And children, we have to put it back. When I was growing up, even if um, my parents or si sibling hand something to us and we didn't say thank you, do you know what they do? In Kadian? Miss, they take it back. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to have been in my time. Yes, they would take it back and say to you, say thank you, or you don't get it. They put it high on, on, on a, a shelf or something. And not until you can say thank you, do you get it. And a magic word is in there. We love our community helpers. And this is what marvels me because that little boy of six year old was not demonstrating love to the police. Did you know that when I was growing up, um, the policeman was regarded as a friend. 
and therefore the policeman would help you to cross the road safely. The policeman would get you on your right path if you got lost. And many children, you would see them crying with the long eye water. And when the policeman um, would say, what happened to you, my dear? He said, I don't know where mommy is. He took me to the shop and it seems as if she's gone. And the policeman would see that you find mommy and you are safe. So all this is something that you could discuss with a group of children. Could you turn the next page, please? This book belongs, and it is very important that you write your name in the book because belonging is very good, is, is a very, very important word. You know that some people don't feel like they belong to anybody or they have anybody, anything that um, belongs to them. So whenever you get a book, you write your name, you are attaching yourself. It belongs to you. You know when something belongs to you, you take care of it. And I'm not saying if it doesn't belong to you, don't take care. But you are learning that it belongs to you, you take care of it, you share it, you what have you. Therefore, when it doesn't belong to you, you would have had those values. And that is just about me. So could you turn the page quickly? Yes, okay. We're coming up to the last five minutes or so. Okay. These are the doctors. And it, it, um, each page would focus on male and female, whether it is doctors and nurses, and there would be a tagline. Talk to somebody about them. What are the nursing doing in this picture? Talk to somebody about it. And it is so relevant because this one having to do with injections and many children are so afraid of injections. So this is an orientation as it were. You have the policeman and turn the next page. We have the firefighters, we have the teacher, yeah. We have the postmaster and the postman. And some people do not know that the lady in the post office is a postmaster. And it says, turn to a page and you will, um, you will color these community helper. You have the pastor, you fill in your pastor's name. Then you have the workplaces where the activities now you can connect the, the community helper to the workplaces. Then you have devices that they use, the computer and all those, those modern devices. Would you turn? Uh, we have very little time. And then this is the overview. Can, um, Kadian, can you read the overview for me, please? Yes, miss. Yeah. Community helpers keep us healthy. They protect us from danger. They deliver our letters and par part parcels. 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 Mm -hmm. They keep the streets clean. They provide us with food. They teach us. They tell us about God. We love our community helpers. Thank you very much. And that's the tagline. Then we go to the coloring activities. We are going to speed up now. And you notice that these, these coloring activities, they, you have sequencing. You have to connect the numbers and you have to connect them in order or else you're going to spoil the picture. So this is very important to show you that you have to follow instruction. If you do not do it in sequence, then you do not. And we have male and female that to help out. We have the nurse, go ahead quickly, please. These are the, the coloring pages and it goes right up. Could you continue please? Right up, right up. 
we have matching and this is focusing on critical thinking. You see that there are how many police women? How many police women on the left? Four. 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 How many ca police cars on the right? Three. Three, miss. Okay. So what would you say about the police women and the police cars? Miss, miss, you can match them with the numbers. Uh, one of them do not belong, miss. Okay, so this is helping you to discriminate. You, you, you know that one of the police women would have to go into the car of one, one of the others, you know, so she would not have her personal car. Quick, move quickly. Could you move on, please? Right, and we have my favorite community helper, you and you can say why you can dress like that person, get the photograph taken. We have the objects, the doctor, and you will, this is an activity that you would do. Go ahead. And then you have filling in the missing letters and you would be able to do that. The next page is critical. Find out about. A lot of children do not even want to speak. What is important that you speak and you ask questions. When you ask questions, you get to learn. Find out about your community helpers. Draw pictures and color them or make a collage and write their name. I must say, when you do the, um, the research on the different professions, it is also good to make probably a collage that you could put at the entrance of the community, and that could be an attraction as it were. A mural, uh, somebody in the community who is an artist could assist. Write sentences about the work of that community helper that is your favorite. Find out about the national anthem. Who wrote the words? Who wrote the music? So you go on the computer to find that out or you talk with someone. Yes, go ahead. And then you have the national song for school, the national pledge, the national symbols, yes. And you have a map of Jamaica. Here are the names of the parishes. Call the name, call a one parish on the map and tell someone why you decided on that parish. Is it because your grandmother was born there? Is it because um, it, it, uh, it's a parish that is, that is very famous for fruits and you love fruit? Whatever it is, you discuss that, you can get into it. Then you have some vocabulary and these can be cover up activities where you can be given a marker or the teacher makes the match for these and you cover them up as somebody calls the names as it were. Go ahead. And at the back, you have the national heroes and the heroine of Jamaica. Ladies and gentlemen, these are examples from Jamaica. What the children can do research to find out national heroes, whether it is in USA, whether it is in UK, they can do research to find out emblems and symbols, and then they can put them together. And what a great way to teach diversity. It's one of the problems we are having that persons do not want to know that you differ from them and everybody can't be the same. We are diverse and we're supposed to accept that and respect other person for who they are, as it were. So that goes on and the building kind of community as it were, were they are unique tools that we have to use. Could you go ahead, please? Yes, so we look at how parents can be involved. Parents can go on visits, field trips by children, dress as community helpers to persons within the community, without the community. I had children dress and visit the governor general 
as it were, um, the, the representative of UNICEF. Visit my community persons to the school to give talks, rap session, engagement of persons through the making of community helpers clothing and tools. These can be made and packaged and sold. One machine at the school and two ladies to begin with. You can sell to other schools as it were. Culturally appropriate skits, concert, making of collages, modeling, you can do murals, postcard, poems, composition, do displays, community helpers in the diff in STEM, and you can, as I said, do diversity with the emblems. Go ahead quickly, my time. Look at that. Look at that. These are children who would like, she wants to be a medical doctor, as well as a nurse, as somebody said. Look at the other types of nurses uh, that are there. And they can be dressed like this on an open day. They can model. They could be asked the same question I asked. And they can say, I want to be so-and-so because. Could I have one slide with boys? Look at the boys being a pilot, policeman. And you have a policeman, policewoman as it were. And these are true, literal children. Parents made these uniform for them and they were able to model these uniform. Could you go ahead quickly? Okay, so parent involvement will ra raise children perception of the status of community helpers, both present one and past one expresses the child expectation as a key influence as it were. Could you go ahead, please? And of course, we want to start from very early. In Jamaica, it is said, if you try to bend the tree when it is old, what will happen to it? It will break. You have to target from the very small or start them where they are. The cultural relevance is very important, not just for music. Everybody knows about Bob Marley and it's culturally relevant. And they will sing about one love and all that. But when it comes to listen to person's thoughts that they are different and to tolerate, why do you have to fight? You know, we are all different and we have to be good influencers. Yes, go ahead, please. This is very important because when I started the writing of this book many years ago, I thought by now we would have kinder communities, but that is not so. Globally, there's a high level of indiscipline, hatred and crime in this society. And we cannot throw up our hands in despair. It is very important to pursue a process of transformation beginning with our children. And of course, this book points to doing all of that because we have a problem of identity and we need to work with our children from early. Some of our children, you know, in our community don't want to be called black. There is an identity problem. And this book, I made sure that we have our community highly reflected, as it were. Could you move on, please? Yes, could you move on? Okay, and what I have noticed too is that the moral compass has been shifted backwards. They are prevailing half-truths and twisted arguments, and they tend to confuse our children as it were. And um, this is very important that we speak truth among our, our children and we do not twist arguments as it were, but you, you say things that you would like the children to model. So you model the behavior that you want the children to have. Could you move on please? 
And the hidden curriculum is something that is very important in this book. Intentionally nurture what is called soft skill. But ladies and gentlemen, is the soft skills that are very important. Can you cooperate? Are you honest? Are you trustworthy? Do you respect yourself and others? Would you go along, please? Let us hear some more of them. And while the others are coming up, my suggestion is that teachers try to incorporate the soft skill in their planning. Yes, it is good to learn the maths and the science, the social studies and all the other core curriculum areas. But you see these soft skill, these are what are needed to be modeled in the community. These are the skills that husband and wife need so that they don't divorce early or any at all. L last couple of minutes, please. Yes, could you go on? Could Respect for yeah. self, yeah? Could you move it on? Yes, facilitate, key, um, go on, please. Would you go on? Would you go on, on please? These are the, the, there are a number of soft skills and they are in the literature that teachers can really model. I think I had forget importance to be kind, importance of being quiet. Some people that talk too much as it were, the importance of speaking softly, the importance of willing to listen, importance of saying I'm sorry and mean it. Some people say, you are, they are sorry, but you deserve what they do to you. That's not being sorry, right? Importance of showing empathy. You do not glorify somebody is, is shot and the people gathering around you. Who that, who that, who that, who that, who that? No empathy to say whose family this person belonged to. What could have caused this or things like that? They glorify all these things that are so hurtful and abusive. Importance of showing sympathy, importance of giving up your rights for peace sake, the importance of making a pledge and keep it. This is so important, children. You are growing up, you have friends, and you will you would um, make a pledge and you just laugh it off. And by tomorrow, there is no pledge. That's not nice. That is why when you get married, you have to take a pledge and you're supposed to mean it for better or for worse. It goes on showing love and care, the importance <clears throat> of resolving conflict, the importance of being fair and not greedy, as it were. You go to a function and rather than taking two little things and eat so that others can get, you fill up your plate and you have a bag in your purse to put some in as well. And some people do not care. These are what we need for life, Mr. Page. Yes. These are the Indeed. things we need in the community to build a better community. And I could go on and on about these soft skills, yeah. but um, we have, I just want to say that we have some very bright and rude abusive persons. So it's not being right. It's not being a doctor, it's not being a nurse, a lawyer, or being a manager or an entrepreneur or what have you. That is good, but you must have these soft skills, as it were, to be, to, to be respected by somebody like me. It doesn't matter how you are bright and how much money you have, and you do not have these soft skills you do not attract somebody like me. So yes. ladies and gentlemen, we must focus on these soft skills. We can collaborate to get the job done. Let's yes. get the job done. Let's do our part. If you're a diaspora representative, you have a part to play. Community leader, pastor, teachers, you have a part to play. Parents, 
you have a part to play. Siblings, you have a part to play. And children, you have a part to play. Yeah. Let's do all we can to build a kinder community. Let's talk youth empowerment in the community. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Excellent, excellent. And exactly as you said, we all have a role to play to inspire inclusive, peaceful, caring and enterprising neighbourhoods. Right, we're, we're a bit short of time now, but I, I, if Keisha Clark, Keisha Hale is there, I'd like you just to say a few words before I hand back to, um, to, to Dean, uh, Uncle Dean. And I, we would like to have a couple of words from Auntie Natasha. Uh, so I, I really mean a couple of words because we've, <laughs> we've run, over, run over time. So Keisha Hale, are you there? Can you, can you open the mic if you're there? Yes, good evening, everyone. Good evening. I am Keisha Hale, the principal of Padmore Primer, and I've been keenly listening to the discussion and the presentation by Michelle McCann. And I must say that it's a very important and it was very comprehensive, the, the um, presentation that you did. And I could feel the passion that is in it. And I want, also want to say um, thanks to the children who joined and you, you were well behaved and you participated. And these, this is the right step in the way that we need to go. And this time with, with the Beacon of Hope programs that we have in Jamaica, when it comes to building community, because we can only make a country prosperous and beneficial to the citizens that live in there when our communities are healthy and when the children who are growing up in the community, they know their roles and they can always pattern adults in their community. And it's very important, Mr. Ramakan, when you're talking about from an early age, you, they, they must say what they want to become. And we must, we must try our best to really inculcate that as adults and to support them in what they want to become. And as I said, our Beacon of Hope program in Jamaica, that is what we are offering to young people. We're offering support right, support and channeling these young people in the way they are to go. So I won't be long because I know that, as we said, time is, is up. But um, I just want to say that I enjoyed your presentation. And this is exactly a book that I would use in my school. Thank you. Thank, thank, thank you, thank you for, very much for that, Keisha. And um, Auntie Natasha, are you there to say a quick few words before I go back to, to Uncle Dean and then we have to close. Okay, I just wanna say thank you and welcome. Thank you, Mr. Rudy for having us. Thank you. And welcome, Ms. Romakan. Thanks. And I like to compliment the kids yeah. and their behavior, well-spoken, you know. Absolutely. And Yes. Thank you for that. And that fact, sorry, carry on. That's it. Thank you. Great. In fact, <laughs> Dean, before I come to you, uh, there's Kenneth Wilson from August Town. Kenneth, are you there? Give you an opportunity to quickly say something, given the importance to the work we're doing. If you can unmute. Right, no, right, okay. Um, Dean Roden, very quickly so that we can close. Yeah, thank you very much, Professor Rudy Page and Dr. <laughs> Ramakan. It's word cannot express how thankful we are. You know, you know, especially when we start with one student and now we establish ourselves to this, this wide, wide audience. And I would like to take the honor of having this as a part of our curriculum in our program, you know, on the corner, let's talk. And you know, it's positive energy. 
Now, why we have this program on the corner? I grew up in Jamaica on the corner where we would have the Sunday school on the corner. I learned to play the gig. I learned to play the different things. And we empower each other. We would, would, would like to have a copy of the book to be a part of our program where we could, I mean, at least even a verse or a chapter per, per session. So it's an honor. We have several other people in the audience uh, from different organizations. You know, so because of the time, yeah. you, know, we have, you know, remember from the different diaspora, remember we're here on the, on the ground, different organizations were representing different people. So I want to thank you all for coming out to participate and support us. And my students in Jamaican term, would have made my head swell. It was <laughs> well be here. And I'm proud of it. Very well. I'm proud of you Thanks. guys. And Thanks. thank you. And, and I think what, finally, what really is important for everybody to know that this for us is a signature project for the Diamond, Diamond Jubilee celebrations next year. So across the diaspora, we will be getting the books, we'll be and then sending the books down to, to Jamaica, to the schools and to Dean's programs as well. We've already agreed with um, Padmore School in St. Andrew and August Town Primary School, Spring Grove uh, Primary School in St. Thomas. And there are other so, schools so, as well. So, and so, we'll sorry, Rudy. Make recommendations from everybody. Sorry, yes. sorry Rudy. Um, Donovan Lawmore just want to recognize that a lot, who's helping us out a lot, you know, sorry to really, but the, Okay, you know, really, we, really there's lots of names, there's you. Stafford Grant, there's Diana McIntyre Pike, there's many good diaspora people and working with the diaspora, we recognize you all, we can't go through all the names, but the most important thing, this is just the first one, and uh, there will be more sessions like this because we have to develop it, and as Dr. Ramakan said, there's great opportunities for murals, for competitions, and we all love competitions, so there certainly will be competitions. Who fills out the, the, the book the best? Who adds more community helpers? Who's the most innovative with sharing the information? Who's the best young people person for showing other young people how to use the book? Yeah. Who's the best young person? for coming up with new ideas that should go in the next edition. So there's going to be lots of competition. So we're going to ensure that next year is really marked by this book, Community Helpers. And we hope in 10, 20, 30 years time, you young people will look back on this day, the 30th of November. Yes. And there's an old saying that says, the best time to plant a tree is 20 years ago. The second best time is today. Yes. Thank you and good night all. Thank you. Good night.